which is a TV show that I used to watch when I was a kid. Maddie's gonna have to guess what the price of these things are. So this Charizard, do you think $9.99? Do you think it's too high or too low? Um, too low. Definitely. See if she's right, $19.99, she's right. She wins the Charizard. Yeah. Now what about this video game? This is a Nintendo Switch Zelda video game, $75. Do you think that is too high or too low? See if she's right, $60, ding, 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 you win the game. Now this next game is a little different. This time she's gonna have to tell me the price. So how much do you think this pizza crust, crust costs? See if you can get it with, between um, close enough of 50 cents. Um, what do you think? I think it's two. $2? Three sixty nine. So she was off. She does not win the pizza. I party. was gonna say thirty something. No pizza for you. Now what about this Coke? How much do you think this Coke is? Um, two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. That would be an expensive Coke. It's only one dollar. No Coke for you. But you got the video game, which is even better. So it's hard to know how much things cost if you're not buying things a lot. But in our video today, we're gonna see the high price that Jesus had to pay for our sin. And we can be so thankful for all he has done for us. So let's sing praise, okay?
as some as some understand delay. delay. But is patient with you, not wanting, not wanting any, to, any perish, to perish, but for all to come to repentance. Second Peter three nine. Hey guys, welcome to our neighborhood. We live in Palmetto Bay, where lots of families and kids live. The Palmetto Bay Library. This is where we get our books. This is the Lada State Park. This is Ocean State Park. Ready? Let's go. This is where we see the ocean. Once in a while, we get to go to our favorite restaurant. Sushi Maki. do whatever you want and not have to follow any rules but that wouldn't always go well think about if you could eat whatever you want and so you just ate junk food all the time you probably wouldn't feel good and you wouldn't grow up strong and healthy so this is one of the reasons God gave us parents to help us know what is good and what we should do and so we should obey our parents so why should we obey God we should obey God because he created us he loves us and his plans are good. He knows everything about everything and he knows everything about us. And so we can trust him that his rules are good for us and so we should obey them. But what happens when we don't obey? There are consequences, right? And we saw in our story last week and we've seen in many stories how God's people, the Israelites, were not always good about obeying him. And We've seen how Hosea and the prophets have given them warnings about what's going to happen if they don't repent of their sin and obey God, that there's going to be punishment. And so this week is when we see the punishment and they pay a huge price because of their sin. So let's watch and see what happens. God had done so many good things for the Israelites. He had rescued the Israelites from slavery in Egypt and had taken care of them in a new land. He made a covenant with them and promised to be their God. Even though God loved them like a father, the Israelites forgot about God. They acted in the same way as the nations who did not know and love God. They worshiped things that were not God and they did exactly what God told them not to do. So God sent prophets to warn the people to stop doing evil things. Did Israel listen? No. The prophets said bad things would happen if they did not obey God. Did Israel obey? No. In fact, they sinned even more. Finally, God had enough. He loved his people too much to let them continue in their sin and rebellion. So God punished the people of Israel by letting their enemies take over. Hoshea was the last king of Israel, the northern king. King Hoshea did evil things like the kings before him. But Hoshea had to do whatever the king of Assyria told him to do. Instead of asking God to help his people, Hoshea secretly asked the king of Egypt to protect Israel from Assyria. Now that Hoshea had a deal with Egypt, he stopped giving money to the king of Assyria. One day, the king of Assyria and his army attacked Israel. King Hoshea was thrown into prison. The Assyrian army surrounded the city of Samaria, the capital of Israel. Samaria had a strong wall around the city. For three years, the Assyrians attacked the city. They did not let 
anyone bring supplies into the city. Finally, the king of Assyria captured Samaria and forced the people to leave their homes. He bound them together with ropes and hooks, and he made them walk hundreds of miles to Assyria. The northern kingdom of Israel was destroyed. When the Israelites disobeyed God again and again, God punished them by removing them from His presence. We disobey God, but Jesus took the punishment for our sin upon Himself. Jesus brings us into God's presence and keeps us there. Sin is dangerous. We see that in our story today, and we see how God wants to protect His people from the sin that will separate them from Him. And so it's kind of like if you wanted a pet tiger, would your parents let you get a hungry, grown pet tiger? No, because it's dangerous. It will eat you, right? And so your parents aren't going to give you something that's going to hurt you. They want to protect you from it. Or think of it like if you go to a place and you get hurt, your parents don't want you to go to that place again. And if you keep going to that place, they might ground you as a consequence so that you don't go back to that place. And it's because they love you and want to protect you. So in our story, we see that God is disciplining his children because they continue to do the same sin over and over. And that hurts them and it hurts their relationship with God. And so God says, enough, you need to be punished and I'm going to separate myself from you because you need to see how serious this is. But thankfully, we do not have to be punished by being separated from God ever again. Because Jesus, when he died on the cross, he took that punishment for us. He was separated from God when he died. But then he rose again and he got rid of that punishment forever. It was the last time any person who is a follower of Jesus will be separated from God. So we might still sin and we might still have consequences for our sin, but we will not be punished with separation from God because Jesus keeps us close to God forever. So we are very grateful that Jesus took this punishment from, from us. And let's spend some more time talking about this story by answering these questions. And don't forget to check out the Bridge Kids website for more opportunities for you to grow in your faith this week. Thanks. See you later. Bye.